Hey, Vanner Fanner family, time to refill the water. Welcome to my channel. I'm Crystal Vanner and I live in my van. Please watch the whole video so we can grow the family, the channel, and the content. So in this video, I'm refilling my fresh water. Um, I'm probably going to be able to get two gallons in there. So I have filled up the gallon jug once already and I will go fill it again. Where I am right now, I'm able to have access to a spigot and I can refill my fresh water that I use for washing up, washing dishes, that kind of thing. And I want to show you where it's located and how I fill it. Because I don't think I've ever shared this with you guys before. My fresh water jug stays in its place currently. Um, I'm looking at some kind of a tweak that I can pull it out and go fill it separately. But for right now, it stays where it is and I just have to bring um, two to three gallons at a time to it to fill up. I usually make sure um, I never get past a gallon. I kind of know how much water I'm using. I'm more conscious about it. So when I get to the point where I think I have about a gallon left, then I start um, refilling and throwing in two more gallons. So I'm going to switch the camera around so you can see under my sink behind my driver's seat where my fresh tank and gray tank are located. Okay, here are my tanks. This is my gray tank right here. It's a little bit out of um, camera view. Let me lower you so you can see it a little bit better okay so this is my gray tank this comes from so as you can see this is the pipe from my sink that goes into this flexible um, uh, plastic tubing stuff and it goes right into the spigot of my gray tank Sorry about the bad cameraman job there, but there you go. That's the gray tank. So that one I can access from the regular um, interior of the van. I don't have to move my seat or anything. Uh, all I have to do is take the bungee off of it that holds it in place, pull it forward, and go dump it. My fresh tank is the one we're dealing with today. That's back here in the very, very back, and it's accessible either from where I'm standing now in between the two front seats or I can access it as well from the driver's side here on the side of the seat as well. I filled it up both ways. Um, I prefer filling it over on the driver's side, but for the camera angle and putting the camera placement, it's best for me to do it this way. So this is the funnel. It's a automotive funnel. I got it at a uh, automotive store. As you can see, it says large engine funnel. It is a really long funnel. And it stays in here. Uh, I do not take this funnel out at all. It stays in here. I do have a rag down in it to keep dust from going in my water. And I just leave it in there. And when I'm ready to fill, I just, uh, usually it stays in this position. And when I'm ready to fill, I turn it to this position. I also have a Dollar Tree flashlight that I use to peek down in there. I pull the funnel out and I use to peek down in there to see how full my tank is. The one thing I would ask Reliance to do, because um, these are Reliance tanks available at um, Amazon.com, and I think some stores have them as well. They are 5.5 gallon tank. I usually only keep about four gallons of water in here. Very rarely do I have it full. And the ha and the uh, gray tank, I try not to let it get more than half full because I have to pull that whole thing out to dump it. But the one thing I would ask Reliance to do is to please, please, please make a strip on the side or front of these that is clear and see-through so you can see how much water you have. Which is why I have to use this flashlight to peek down in the tank and see how much water I have in them. Or in it, rather, because I don't, I know that the gray one when it's halfway. All right, so we're going to go ahead and fill, or I'm going to go ahead and fill this. And, of course, I've always splashed the first little bit, and that's okay. It's just a couple of little splashes, no big deal. But I just go ahead and fill. Once I get the first gallon in, um, if I'm not 100% sure how much water I've gone through, I go ahead and take a peek with my flashlight and see where I am. And uh, if I feel like I can put another gallon in, then that's what I do. So we've got the first gallon in. And I have a pocket on the back of my seat. I just usually take the um, funnel and stick it in the pocket. So I'm going to peek down in there and see where about I am. Again, this is just a little Dollar Tree flashlight. Um, 
yeah, I can definitely do another gallon. So I'm going to go to the spigot, refill my gallon jug off camera and come back and dump another gallon in there. All right, ready for gallon number two. Push the funnel down in there. Oh, it is a nice day, but it is so windy. Oof. A little more controlled this time. Not much of a splash at all. Woohoo! And honestly, I probably could do a third gallon. I think I only had about a gallon or so uh, in there, probably less than a gallon. So I'm going to just take my rag that also I put in the back pocket of my seat and put it back there, turn my funnel back around. And then I have my black curtain that sits behind my seat to cover up my house area from my front cab area. And all of that goes bye-bye. So that is how I fill my fresh tank um, every week or so. Sometimes it only lasts me four days. Sometimes I can get a whole six days out of it. But I know about how much water I'm using as far as washing up, washing dishes, and all that stuff. So I'm going to go back to the spigot and fill up my gallon jug one more time because I always like to have one gallon of water with me carrying around just in case I don't gauge my water consumption right and I at least have one gallon of water that I can dump in there to use until I can fill it up again. So thank you for watching another video from start to finish. Remember that's how you can help out your favorites here on YouTube by watching their videos from start to finish and is watching as much of the ads as you can. See if they have a Patreon you can partner with them. I have one. My link is down in the description box or see if they have a YouTube membership I have one of those too. And look next to the subscribe button for the join button and partner with them in making their content and their channel better if you can. Thank you guys so much. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I'll be down in the comments so we can chat. See you next time. You can help grow the family by liking, sharing, and subscribing. Get your own Vanner stickers, tees, and hoodies. And for exclusive content, check out Patreon.